Lucas Auer can possibly do it for Carlin. And he wants this bad. His dad is here. But will the man with the famous name make his own famous racing name? It's one thing to step out of the shadow of being a Habsburg. It's another to win at Macau. But he's got a chance to do it. And here he comes, folks. Ferdinand Habsburg has got the run on the number 19. And Camera is a sitting duck for now. He's got to defend, and he does so through matter. And they're side by side. There's no room to do that, folks. And he's done it, though. Habsburg's done it. He's going to drape the lead. And he's got to because Camera's going to run out of road. Camera holds on, but he's got a break, and through goes Habsburg. Sensational racing again. And Camera somehow holds on. Wow. Unbelievably brave. Wheel to wheel between these two. Is that going to be the last opportunity no. for Habsburg? No, 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 no. <laughs> this is the last lap, and Camera is holding on for dear life now, as Habsburg wants this bad. He really does. He knows he's got the pace on the Brazilian, who said, I've got the, the set of tyres, but Habsburg amazingly hasn't. You can see how used those tyres look, but Habsburg, as you can see, is driving like a demon right now. What a race. And Camera, if he does win this, will deserve every moment of it. Now, Habsburg trying to force a mistake even because time is running out in terms of opportunity. He's got one real chance at the bottom of Fisherman's to make a move. But he's got to tuck himself right behind here at the Melco. Meanwhile behind, Daniel Tictum is still in third place ahead of Lando Norris. Wow, this has turned out to be a vintage Macau Grand Prix in the 64th running. There he is, Hatsburg. Tictum still just ahead of Lando Norris. Great battle in the midfield. Gunter drops right down. Ralph Aaron's going to finish fifth in his debut season. Here we go. Lando Norris trying desperately to get up there, but it's going to be Habsburg trying to stop Sergio Sete Camera. And there's nothing between them. They're side by side coming to the last corner. Habsburg's got him. Habsburg's got him. And Camera hits the wall. So too does Habsburg. And Daniel Tictum wins the Macau Grand Free! What a finish! Oh, I've seen some close finishes in my time here, but that just takes it all. And Desperate Dan does it in style at the Macau Grand Prix <laughs> and deserves it too because he made the boldest move. He was there at the right time and when all around were losing theirs, he stepped up to take what is almost an unbelievable win for the Motor Party. Astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. Daniel Tickton wins the 64th Macau Grand Prix. Here we go again. Habsburg has got the run on camera. And look at the speed that Habsburg has here. He's passed him at this point. Camera slots in behind. And the trouble is Habsburg has lost already he was going to hit that wall way before camera and i did have a feeling that how i've never seen anybody uh, overtake that quickly there and uh, uh you know Habsburg's finished in four <laughs> with three wheels that was incredible yeah still finished in four <laughs> wow i'm feeling a bit emotional <laughs> yeah. i think are they are too you want emotion go down there that is absolutely incredible